Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and in this video we are going to go through an example of reducing a second order differential equation. This is the case where the y term is missing. So we have a second order ODE that goes like this, 2y double prime x equals y prime. So since the y is missing we can make the substitution p equals y prime and that implies that p prime equals y double prime and we can then substitute in as follows 2 p prime x equals p all right this seems like a differential equation we can solve using integration so let's write it like so Okay, and moving all the p's to one side, we have 2 over p dp equals 1 over x dx. Okay, and this is going to be two, two, two. integrating both sides. We're going to have 2 log p equals log x plus c. Oh, let's write, yeah, no, let's write after the on both sides. Okay, and this is going to be, the way to get, to get past this is to take the exponential of both sides. So we write the exponential e2 log of p equals e log x plus c. This is just going to be p squared, which is just going to be p squared eventually equals x times e c. Okay, um, since we're taking the square of absolute value, you can just like get rid of the absolute value. So p squared equals x times e c. Um, and let's make it a bit easier, so write k equals e to the c. So changing our differential equation to p squared equals k times x. All right, so this is going to be our general solution in terms of p, but we have to rem remember to substitute back the y. Okay, so remember that p equals y prime. Since p equals y prime, what we end up with is actually y prime squared equals k times x, right? And this makes it a bit easier, so we can write y prime equals root of kx. So remember that k is an arbitrary constant, um, so we can basically just write down as in this way. Okay, and what's going to happen now is that, no, no, no let's, not, let's not do that. It's a bit tricky when you're removing constants from inside square roots. So let's just write this down in this term, kx, but we can make sure that x is the correct sign. Okay, and what's going to happen now is we are going to re... sorry, we're going to um, rewrite the y prime in terms of dy dx and just do another integration. This is going to be y equals root of kx dx Okay, and this is just going to be mm, root k times x raised to the 3 over half power, so 3 and a half plus c, and we just get a general solution of y over root k to x three halves over three plus c. So our general solution has two constants, k and c, but we should expect that since we had we started with a second order differential equation, and therefore we would we expect there to be two constants, and this is the general solution that we get 